we are excited to walk you through metered billing for GitHub Enterprise and GitHub Advanced Security. With metered billing, you can enjoy a seamless billing experience, flexible self-provisioning, pay-as-you-go pricing, and expanded channels to buy GitHub products. Some key features we will cover include the addition of Azure subscription ID as a payment method for Azure customers, and the ability to self-provision and configure enterprise managed users or EMUs. There are multiple entry points to get started. You can navigate to the GitHub Enterprise landing page at github.com slash enterprise or the pricing page at github.com slash pricing. You can even get started from our GitHub web pages on Azure and the Azure portal. If you are an Azure customer working with the cloud solution provider, at Setup, we recommend that you establish co-administratorship with yourself and your cloud solution provider as part of the organization. Let's go back to the GitHub Enterprise page and start by clicking on the trial button. You will be prompted to choose how you would like to create a new enterprise account, your gateway to the GitHub Enterprise platform. You can allow your developers to use their own personal GitHub accounts for work or you can provision work-only accounts through your identity provider with enterprise managed users. If you choose to enable your developers to use their personal GitHub accounts for work, you can immediately create an enterprise and your first organization. Let's go over the steps to sign up for an enterprise account. Enter an enterprise name and other details like industry and number of employees. You can choose an existing organization to include in the enterprise or create the enterprise without an organization. Provide your contact information like full name, work email, and country. Next, verify your account by solving a puzzle, check the terms and conditions, and click on the Create Enterprise button. Your enterprise account is now ready. You can create your first organization by entering the organization name and inviting members. Your organization is now ready. If you selected enterprise managed users in the beginning, you would need to configure your identity provider and add organizations through the enterprise managed users admin account. During the setup process, you will be prompted to complete several tasks, including the option to try GitHub Advanced Security as part of this trial. Let's walk through the process of onboarding to GitHub Advanced Security. Click on Start Free Trial under Try Advanced Security. Click Start Trial on the pop-up. You can now explore the power of GitHub Advanced Security. At any point during the trial period, you can return to the enterprise account, activate your enterprise license and convert it to a paid license. Let's proceed to activate this account from a trial license to a paid license. Click on Activate Enterprise on the trial banner. GitHub will provide an estimate of your billing amount. If a GitHub Advanced Security trial was activated, you can disable it via this page. Click on the Remove link next to Advanced Security. You can confirm your choice by clicking Remove on the pop-up. If you change your mind later, you can always revisit the GitHub Advanced Security settings page to update the enablement settings. Continuing our activation process, since I have one user in my enterprise and zero committers so far, on my zero repositories for GitHub Advanced Security, I see this estimated monthly amount. Once you confirm the details, you can fill in your billing information like business name and your shipping information. Once you fill in your billing and shipping details, you can choose from different payment methods for billing including credit card, PayPal and now with an Azure subscription ID for our Azure customers. You can also be billed via invoice but will need to reach out to sales for setup. To ensure uninterrupted business operations, we have included a sales contact option on the activation page. If you would like to chat with the sales team before adding your payment details, click on the Talk to Us button on the trial banner and fill out the contact form. If you have any requirements for using GitHub Enterprise Server, our self-hosted platform for software development within your enterprise, you can do that from here too. To set up GitHub Enterprise Server on Metered, you will need to generate a server license key to upload to your server instance. As a reminder, GitHub Enterprise on Metered is 100% cloud first, so you cannot have more users on GitHub Enterprise Server than you have on cloud. For instance, GitHub provides license keys for 5 users because I currently have 5 licensed users on GitHub Enterprise Cloud. Once you add more users to your GitHub Enterprise Cloud instance, you can generate new license keys for more users on GitHub Enterprise Server. 
And now coming to the end, let's see how you will receive more granular control over your billing from your billing and licensing page. For example, you can gain insights on usage, map cost to cost centers, and optimize spending across your organization with new dashboards and reports. In summary, the expansion of our pay-as-you-go model to include GitHub Enterprise and GitHub Advanced Security unifies our GitHub product portfolio as metered services, aligning with our ongoing mission to cater to your unique business needs across channels that suit you best with the flexibility you seek. Click on this link to learn more.